Good morning. My name is Pastor T from Love of Christ Ministry. And I'm here to show you a video today of a powerful, powerful, powerful prayer that our friend from San Antonio, Pastor John Higgy, said at the inauguration of the embassy in Israel. Baptist Church in San Antonio, Texas. Pastor Hagee. Can we stand? Our most gracious Heavenly Father, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who calls the stars by name and measures space with a span of his hand, the God who is the king of the universe. We gather here today to thank you for the joy of living and seeing this glorious and historic day. We thank you for the state of Israel, the lone torch of freedom in the Middle East, who lives and prospers because of your everlasting love for the Jewish people. It was you, O oh Lord, who gathered the exiles from the nations and brought them home again. It was you who made statehood possible. It was you that gave a miraculous victory in 1967 when Jerusalem was reopened to worshipers of all faith. Jerusalem is the city of God. Jerusalem is the heartbeat of Israel. Jerusalem is where Abraham placed his son on the altar of the Temple Mount and became the father of many nations. Jerusalem is where Jeremiah and Isaiah penned principles of righteousness that became the moral foundations of Western civilization. Jerusalem is where Messiah will come and establish a kingdom that will never end. We thank you, O Lord, for President Donald Trump's courage in acknowledging to the world a truth established 3,000 years ago that Jerusalem is and always shall be the eternal capital of the Jewish people. And because of that courage of our president, we gather here today to consecrate the ground upon which the United States Embassy will stand reminding the dictators of the world that America and Israel are forever united. We thank you for our ambassador, David Friedman, and pray your anointing upon him as he opens the doors of the U.S. Embassy to receive the nations of the world. Let the word go forth from Jerusalem today that Israel lives. Shout it from the housetops that Israel lives. Let every Islamic terrorist hear this message, Israel lives. Let it be heard in the halls of the United Nations, Israel lives. Let it echo down the marble halls of the presidential palace in Iran, Israel lives. Let it be known to all men that Israel lives, because he that keepeth Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. As King David prayed 3,000 years ago, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem and all its inhabitants. Let the name of the Lord be glorified today for the defender of Israel today, tomorrow, and forever is here. Can we all shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Amen. Once again, I'd like to call upon Chagit Yaso to sing Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu, Peace Will Yet Come to Us All. Chagit.
שמוז לעמו ייתן, שמוז לעמו ייתן, שמוז לעמו ייתן, עמו שמוז לעמו ייתן, השם יברך את עמו בשלום, שלום, שלום. בעזרת השם As Chagit just sang so beautifully, may peace yet come to all of us, here in Jerusalem and throughout the world. As Vice President Pence said at the Knesset this past January, echoed by President Rivlin today and by Prime Minister Netanyahu. Shehechayanu, v'kiyamanu, v'higiyanu, l'zman hazeh. We are all so grateful for this very special day. This concludes our ceremony. I'd like to thank all of you so much for your support, and please come visit us again soon. Thank you very much.